أنا محترف منذ 22 عاما. Cristiano Ronaldo speaking perfect Arabic? That's a fake. AI-powered image generators are rapidly improving. Therefore, very convincing deepfakes are more and more common on social media. That makes it very hard for us to distinguish real from fake. And that's a huge problem worldwide, especially when it comes to elections. Now, Meta has announced it will label AI-generated content starting in May. How is that supposed to work and will this save us from being lied to? Let's take a look. Deceivingly real. AI will be smarter than the smartest human within the next two years. That's the latest bold prediction by tech billionaire Elon Musk. This claim is certainly debatable. Fact is, a lot of the time generative AI is already good enough to deceive our eyes. And with OpenAI's video generator Sora to be launched in the near future, AI-generated content will get even better very quickly. A lot of AI content is shared on social media. So far, the platforms have not taken significant steps to detect AI fakes. Now, Meta has announced they will label AI-generated content on Facebook, Instagram and threads starting in May. This will include images, videos and sound. Labeling AI, how does that work? Meta makes it sound pretty easy. We will begin labeling content as made with AI when we detect industry standard AI image indicators. In theory, it would work like this. Generative AI developers add watermarks to AI-generated content. That means whenever a user creates something using these engines, there is a watermark in the file's metadata. When users upload content, special algorithms can check for these watermarks and label the final post as made with AI. It seems pretty straightforward, but there's more than one catch. They'd have to scan all content and find all watermarks. What's more, not all AI engines use watermarks. And these watermarks are very easy to remove. So if you want to share misleading images, basic digital tools are enough to circumvent Meta's algorithms. Let's take an AI image, for example. Just take a simple screenshot of it. It would have different metadata and no watermark. Apart from that, Meta's visual labels can easily be cropped out. So AI labeling is not the solution for our deepfake conundrum. Meta's initiative seems pretty immature, to say it politely. Others are taking a different approach. They are using AI to detect AI images. Companies like Nuance are training their algorithms to detect details that escape the human eye. This can include technical details like pixels in an image or suspicious sequences in videos. This strategy is a lot more likely to succeed than Meta's, but there is a downside too. AI image generators are evolving incredibly fast, so developers of AI detectors have to update their algorithms all the time. Looks like as of now, we don't really have reliable mechanisms that could protect us from falling for AI images or deepfakes. They are increasingly used to spread political disinformation worldwide. In this super election year 2024, they are posing a huge threat to fair elections and truth-based election campaigns in huge countries like India, Mexico and the US. In the letter, several deepfake videos of Joe Biden have surfaced recently. The fake material seems to aim at making the US president look disoriented and frail. In this one, he falsely mentions that Kiev has been occupied by Russian troops for 10 years already. from Russian occupation, which has lasted for 10 years. In another, he's supposedly browsing dementia books. Both videos have been analyzed by international fact-checkers and were identified as definitely fake. Nowadays, almost anything can be faked convincingly with AI technology. Images, videos and sound. That's why we should always be cautious when we're consuming news online and ask ourselves if what we see or hear could be manipulated, even when the information matches our beliefs and especially when it's presented in an emotional way. When in doubt, check the source of the information. Is it trustworthy? See what others are reporting on the topic. Stay vigilant. That's it from me. Bye.